what was Tony Gwynn's average again against Atlanta's big three? Ah, this is a fun one. Let's go. Folks, welcome to the Baseball Brouhaha. We got coffee. We got fun trivia. This is right up our alley. Love Tony Gwynn. Love Greg Maddox. Let's let's talk about that. Yeah, so our question, so Atlanta's big three, if you don't know, Greg Maddox, Tom Glavin, John Smoltz. Yeah. Could even throw in a little Steve Avery Steve in Lee. there. Mm-hmm. Early, mid-90s there. But Tony Gwynn was such a good hitter and Mm -hmm. against some of the best pitchers hit very well yeah so even if he's not the low end of this scale hitting 250 275 against these three pitchers is pretty good but i'm pretty sure he's higher than that so here's our four options tony gwynn what was his batting average against combined Greg Maddox, Tom Glavin, John Smoltz. Was it 250 to 275, 300 to 350, 350 to 375, or 375 to 400? Aaron, what do you got? Well, I mean, 300 to 350 is a large range. Um, and the, it's, I mean, that's where his career average is, I believe, is in that range, kind of the upper end, I believe, or in the middle. I'm going to go there um, because it's a big, it's the biggest space. Okay. I'm going to go one higher. I'm going to go 350 to 375. Putting a lot of faith in Tony Gwynn to score me a run here. Mm -hmm. Let's take, let's see if we get the correct answer is he hit 381. Oh, we both missed 381. Yeah, he hit, <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> he hit 444 against Smoltz. Man, a paltry 415 against Maddox, and struggled the most against Tom Glavin, whom he hit 303 against. Wow, 381 against those guys. That's that's crazy. Yeah. Wow. Well, we, we we did not get that correct. Sorry, Tony, we sold you short. We we sure did. So, but Tony, I mean, it just like goes to show how impressive Tony Gwynn was. I mean, there's just some incredible stats out there about like the, what's the Pete Rose one? Like Pete Rose would come back and go over seven hundred and fifty, and Tony Gwynn would still have a higher batting average than him. Yeah, well, yeah, if Gwynn came back. Um, and it went over. Oh, yeah, whatever, we came yeah. back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, saw, I saw a thing that said if Tony Gwynn came back. Uh, yeah, I saw this. Okay. If Tony Gwynn came back and struck out in 5,000 consecutive at bats, 5,000, <laughs> he'd have a lower career strikeout rate than Joey Gallo. <laughs> That is, that's insane. <laughs> oh, yeah. I it's mean, there, there's stats about, like, Tony Gwynn having fewer strikeouts in a decade than some players yeah. had this season. this season. Yes, indeed. Yeah, those are, those are fun to look up. Go look up some of the old-timers, too. Like, I was looking fairly recently at Ted Klazuski, who I didn't know a ton about. Dude struck out, like, he was like Tony Gwynn, but hitting bombs. Like... <laughs> His stats are crazy. And you have other guys. There were a couple guys that I looked at. I saw on on uh, Twitter or Facebook or something like that. Guys striking out like two, four times a year. Yeah. Like and not like reserve guys who played like eight games. Like full seasons <laughs> striking yeah. out like four times. It's insane. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's it's wild. Even someone like Babe Ruth, who was like kind of known for striking out in today's standards he'd be like a contact hitter yeah so yeah that's wild well this was this was a fun one love talking Mm -hmm. tony gwynn and insane stats that are hard to believe yes indeed yeah we got more of them coming your way yeah thanks everybody see you tomorrow